Okay, folks, welcome back. So, but I intended on getting on my kayak and trying some crappie. I wanted to try some Richard Jean, the fishing machine, techniques for catching crappie. But, that's not really working out. Like I said, we're running out of time. So, I figured I'd just come down here and try to do a little finessing on the telescopic. So, now we're going to come down here. We're going to try to find some different uh, spots along this side of the bank to fish because this is actually the uh, the bank that's not um, facing the wind. It's got a little bit of wind blockage going on. Anyway, like I was saying, we're going to do a little bit of finessing. I've got my... Uh, it's actually a different kind of Ned rig today. It's um, It's got a little spinner thing on it. I can't remember what it's called. Something spin. Spin something. We've got that. I've got a fat shaky head rig and that's on a 10 pound test I believe. 10 or 12. I think it's 10 though. The Ned is on like 6 pound test I think. Folks, I've had a hard, hard, hard mother effing time fishing lately. So we're going to go around here. We'll try this spot. If this doesn't work, we'll go down and try another spot. That's a fish. First fish of the day. A little one, and it got some moss. That's why it felt so heavy. <laughs> All right, on the Placino PL03, guys. He's gonna run right in my boot. <laughs> Chill out for a second there. I wonder if that's the same one that was just pecking at it. There we go. Finally caught a fish, folks. I have been trying all morning. It's been a grind to catch this little dude. Alright, well I figured this spot would produce just because of where it's at. Let's see if there's any more fish out there to be had. There is. Oh my gosh. Another fish, folks. This one's about the same size, too. There we go. Maybe a little bit bigger. About the same size, though. He choked it. There we go. Nice little spotted bass. They are kicking a fit. Why do they keep taking off towards the shallows? They go straight for the shallows and then they go to the depths. Or, you know, out that way. Let's get a not EWG for this Senko. Now, that's one thing I've noticed. Um, when it gets colder like this in the fall and the winter time, I really don't throw a T-Rig. That's all I used to throw is a T-Rig and then I learned about all these different rigs and I haven't thrown it during the winter at all. But you better believe as soon as it starts to warm up during springtime, I am on that freaking Senko. So it's kind of late fall. We're still hitting um, high 60s around here in Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma. Well, dang it, folks. I was just now explaining how, to, uh, how I was throwing for this fish over here on a T-Rig. I kept seeing some activity on the right side. And so uh, I just hooked up on this fish here. He's trying to take me in some crap. Go ahead and get him up out of here and check him out. This is the fourth fish I've hooked up on today. Third fish that I've landed. Whoa, look at that hook set. Mmm, meaty hook set. Not a bad little fish though. Pretty sweet for this spot. That was cool. On a Senko in the fall. I like that. I love it when the Senko runs up the line like that. Honestly, I feel like that's about the only fish we're going to catch. Let's see if there's anything else holding in that area, though. There we go.
Oh man, guys. <laughs> I thought that was a bite on the slack. And I just ripped it down on that log. Yeah, that's done for. I smoked that log. Oh my gosh, I think I got it off. As you guys seen earlier, uh, I'm throwing this uh, spinny Ned thing here. And I want to talk a little bit about the rod I'm throwing, actually. This is the uh, Placeno PL03 1.8 meter uh, medium action. It's got the stuff there. One quarter to one ounce, seven to 28 grams. Uh, it's a, it's almost, you know, 1.8 meters is like 5.10 or 5 point, it's like five feet, 10 inches. So it's almost six feet. Dude, this rod has been really sick. I don't even know what to say about this rod other than it has found its place in my arsenal it's got let's see here one two three five sections none of these little guy things are loose or anything the rod doesn't and you can hear it doesn't sound shaky or wobbly or anything like that it's a really good rod i'm really liking it though it's got a nice screw or a nice uh, reel seat here it's aluminum i think or some kind of metal anyway this is the placeno pl03 it's a freaking great rod i'm loving it uh, what the f oh my gosh that was insane the uh, placeno pl03 is a freaking sweet ride damn good rod what more can i say are we on a fish already? Oh my gosh. Right on, dude. That's a better one. There it went. That was a one pounder for sure. That's a fish. Got it. Mid rig action. Not the spinner bait, but there's it seems like the fish around here are just little. Like I haven't been throwing the Ned rig enough. Oh, that's a good one. A better one anyway, not a great one. Ned rig action. less than a pound maybe a pound a little spotted bass you could tell he was kicking it up real good in there let's get him going <laughs> he just really circle behind me I don't know how they do that every time I toss them up that way and they come back are we out of it nope oh my gosh on the placeno PL03 again folks <laughs> this little ride Serving me well. Medium action. Another little. Actually, this one's a largemouth. Sweet. First largemouth, I think. I caught one earlier, not for sure. Thanks for watching another episode of Fishing with Jam the Man. Uh, I guess until next time, we'll see you guys later. Jam the Man out.